Hey YouTube, Opinionated Reviewer here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to download your iPhone 4S, your iPad 2, and the new iPad to any iOS 5 firmware. So right now, my iPhone 4S is on iOS 5.1, and I'm going to go ahead and downgrade it to iOS 5.0.1 so I can get an Ontario jailbreak. If you have an iPad, a new iPad, the only firmware right now it can be downgraded to is 5.1 from 5.1.1. And the iPad 2 can be downgraded to iOS 5.0.1 so you can go ahead and jailbreak untethered with Absent. So this is my iPhone 4S. Let me just show you. You guys can see Siri right there. And this device is not jailbroken as you guys can see. So first and foremost, if you do not have your SHSH blob saved, do not even continue. No SHSH blobs equal no downgrade. No, you cannot use someone else's blob to downgrade. Every SHSH blob is unique to each device. So if you do not have your SHSH blob, don't even ask the stupid ass question in the description. You cannot downgrade. If you don't know if you have your blob saved, go into Cydia. And you guys can see right here on my screen, right on the top of Cydia, you're going to see SHSH. And it's going to show you all SHSH blobs that you have saved for your device. Now that we have that out the way, you're going to go ahead and two things, you're going to, three things you're going to need to downgrade. You're going to need a new Red Snow, which at this moment, it's Red Snow 0.911B1. So three things you're going to need. You're going to need a new Red Snow. I'm going to have the link in the description to where you can downgrade the new Red Snow. And I'm going to also have a link in the description to a written guide and any troubleshooting help you need. If you have any problems, follow me on Twitter. Link is going to be in the description. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Now you're going to need the new Red Snow, your iOS, the format that you want to downgrade to. So for me, I'm down. I have the 5.0.1 and you're going to also need the latest firmware which is at this moment is 5.1.1 so right now I'm, i have those two formats plus red snow on my um, desktop right here and you're going to go ahead and right click red snow click properties compatibility check off Windows pro and compatibility mode for select windows service pack 2 Check out for this program and an administrator, hit apply and then hit OK. And that's only for Windows 7 and Windows Vista users. Mac users and Windows XP users, you don't have to worry about that if you did this. So just proceed. So now we're going to run Red Snow. Go ahead and select the Extras tab, the Even More tab down at the bottom. Select the Restore. And now we're going to go ahead and select the IPSW that we want to downgrade to. So click on IPSW and click on the one that we want to downgrade to. For me, it's iOS 5.0.1, my iPhone 4S. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And now we have to select, as it's telling you right here, the firmware, the latest firmware, which is 5.1.1. In the future, it might be something different. But as for now, we have to select the iOS 5.1.1. Now, I, I already downloaded that. It's on my desktop as well, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And this process, if you're on an iPhone 4S, it will update your baseband. So if you depend on an unlock, like um, GVSIM, it will update your baseband. At this moment, the GVSIM unlock still works with the new baseband, so you don't have to worry. I'm, I don't know what it's going to be in the future, but it still works right now. The SAM unlock will work. You have no problem with that, so just go ahead and select yes. Now you will see your iPhone 4S is going to go into that little loading thing. Don't worry about that. Red Snow is already taken in effect and it's going to go ahead and do everything for you. It tells you to put your device into DFU mode, but you don't actually have to put your device into DFU mode. It's going to just proceed. You don't have to do any of that. So don't even worry about that. You can just go ahead and click OK. You're going to see the iTunes logo and stuff on your device. You don't have to worry about none of that. Now we got to go ahead and select our, our SHSH blob. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can look for them locally wherever you have them saved on your computer or you can just go ahead and have 
have Red Snow search CDS um, servers for this. You're gonna obviously need an internet connection for the remote option. Locally, you can just search for it. I'm not gonna do locally because remotely is the easiest way. So just go ahead and select remotely. And as long as you have them on CDS servers, it's gonna go ahead and pull it for you. So you don't have to worry about anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let Red Snow work its magic. Now this process here, it took me the first time when I was testing it, it took me at least four to five minutes. I'm not sure how much it's gonna take the second time. I think it's the same length. Also, the, if you're doing it on iPad 2 or the new iPad, it should be um, a lot shorter than this for your iPhone 4S because it has to do baseband and all that gibberish. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward and then come back when Red Snow is finished with all of this. You don't have to use iTunes or anything like that. Red Snow is gonna restore your device. So don't even worry about iTunes. So let me just go ahead and come back when all this is done. So yeah guys, now that um, Red Snow is finished downgrading my device, you're going to see this message. Your device was successfully downgraded to iOS, whatever version you selected. For me, I selected 5.0.1. And when you go over to your iPhone, you're going to have to go ahead and go through the iOS 5 setup. I already went to here, at least to the second part where you can go ahead and set it up as a new iPhone. Just going to go ahead and agree to all these terms and conditions. Use Siri. You guys can see it is an iPhone 4S and then just start using my iPhone and no jailbreak so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and jailbreak my device with absent if you guys need the jailbreak on iOS 5.0.1 you can go ahead and check out the link in, in the description for that jailbreak for the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4s that's basically it remember follow me on Twitter if you have any if you need any help and any trouble fixes I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube Link is going to be in the description to a full guide and everything that you need to download. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.